was entirely too much violence. Everybody wants to fight. Nobody wants to talk. Gomper's principal, Melody Seaton, sought Jai's help after learning that some students with behavioral problems have something in common. They're unable to process why they misbehave. We were just looking for something that might give our, equip our students with a way to just know that things happen in life, but they don't have to happen to you. Jai's meditative techniques, which run 30 seconds to a few minutes, are practiced throughout the school day. There are three basic types. One would be a stretching movements, so that the child learns to pay attention to and concentrate on the physical feelings of stretches in their bodies. Another is breathing. Now take in a deep cleansing breath. And finally, there's direct concentration, a way for students to focus when their minds start to wander. To hold your attention on the bell and notice the silence inside of yourself when the bell stops ringing. Teachers at Gompers lead students in calming exercises each time they change subjects or classrooms. Even the person in charge of school announcements is getting in on the act. Good morning, this is Mrs. Jacobs with our calming exercise for today. The effect? After the exercise, we continue our work, and you can tell the difference because we're quiet. Everybody is concentrating. A lot of times there are big problems, and sometimes I do not get them, and so I really have to think about it. So I would like breathe in and breathe out, and I feel better, and I actually get the problem right. Teachers are also seeing great results after only a month. I've noticed it in the grading. I've noticed it with their reading. I am pleasantly surprised pleasantly surprised. But there's an added incentive which holds the greatest promise. There's no question that if the students and teachers participate in these activities on a regular basis, there will be less violence in the schools. When most people come into our school, they talk about a peace that they feel. And I always tell them that it is uh, highly attributed to a calm classroom being incorporated. Uh, prior to that, it was not always that peaceful um, because we didn't know what to do. We wanted to have peace, but we didn't know what to do. And so now that we know what to do, we're much more responsible with trying to make sure that happens. And it's not something we have to say, okay, we're gonna be peaceful today. It just is, and people comment on that. There has definitely been an improvement in our grades, our scores. Uh, we were off probation and over the course of the time of beginning to use Calm Classroom. But the suspensions have gone down, even though they're not as far as we'd like for them to, to be. Uh, but we certainly, when we're dealing with students who are volatile, agitated in some way, especially after an altercation, if we don't begin a conversation but instead say, can we go through a calming activity? They change completely. Now I've given them time to calm down so that they can speak to me intelligently and not be very hostile. I believe calm classrooms should be instituted in other schools because it is the opposite of what we experience in the schools on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, our children are a product of the environment and so they bring in, unfortunately, what they're exposed to every day. So it's something most schools haven't done. And so I just believe in trying something different. As an administrator, it has been a blessing for me. I use Calm uh, activities all the time. So in my interactions with my staff, I'm a much calmer person than I was prior to 2008. And so. I think that because of the environment that we work in as uh, public servants, it's a plus to have something that you can do to protect yourself health-wise, and it, it does. In the mornings, I deal with more of the younger, so fourth and fifth graders, mm -hmm. and they come in and some of them are just angry, some of them are just full of energy, some of them are just like, whatever, I'm just here. But um, after doing the calm classroom, I noticed sometimes it's like, I don't want to do this. Uh, but I'm like, just try it. You don't even know how it's going. You know, just try it. And then they'll, they'll stand there. If they're in the hallway, they'll sit there in a the classroom with the feet flat and the hands on, a, on their knees. And then they're doing the deep breathing or they'll do the one where we focus it on the object. And next thing I know, they're like, oh, okay, I'm ready for the day. Mm -hmm. I can point out several students 
who I've seen from the beginning of the year, who just, like I said, they would come in angry for whatever reason, dealing with home or whatever big brother made me mad, big sister made me upset. And after using this calm classroom, it's, it's from the beginning of the school year to the middle, they've, they've made a drastic change. I actually use it more than just at school. I use it more because I do a lot outside of school and um, I have to take my moment and I have to say, okay, Chris, let's, let's get it together before we go out and do what we have to do. And I, I, I love the one where we just gaze off, find an object and gaze. And then afterwards we're still doing that deep breathing. Mm -hmm. So I, I use it daily, several times a day to help myself stay focused and centered. And so it, that helps me get away from Oh, I have to make this phone call, I have to send this email, I have to go see this rehearsal, I have to set up this appointment. It's like, none of that exists. I'm focusing, it could be the bottle of water, and I'm just focusing on that, and it's like, oh, okay, Chris, everything is all right. Without the existence of Calm Classroom and Gompers, it would be a pretty chaotic place, pretty uh, off the wall, I'll say. If more people participated in Calm Classroom um, in the world, people would be more tolerable, People have more patience. The crime rate would be down um, because, like I said, it helps you come back down, center yourself before you do something crazy or say something crazy. So I believe if, if the world would use Calm Classroom, it would be a, a much better place. I've been attending a Calm Classroom for four years. I go to Gumpers Elementary School. What I like about Calm Classroom is it helped me breathe, it helped me like, like go through the day perfect. I be energetic, ready, do my work. I'm doing it to calm down, go through the day nice, don't have no problems, no fights, do my work, and have a wonderful day. Cause when I was younger, I used to get a couple Ds. Now, when I got here, I was doing the calm classroom in fifth grade, I had all A's and B's through the whole year. My favorite part about the calm classroom is that I can relax and like if I, if another student need help, I can help them because I'm ready, just ready to do everything. Because it helped me, like whatever problems I had at home, I come to school, just like everything, all that erased out of my head. On Thanksgiving, like everybody sat down at the table, it was like, oh, this really helps. They, was, they, they liked it, now we do it more often at home now. I think I will be like a lot of stuff would be going through my head. I probably won't be getting good grades because I'll be thinking a lot of stuff that happened at home or back in the past. They would think like, what's the point of killing each other? Let's calm down and think about it. Let's let's let let's be brothers and sisters.